everyone. I'm Leah from the Ida Public Library and I am running this very brief uh, how-to video on how to use our wireless printing service. While we are closed to the public, people when people can't come in and use our computers to print, we still want to be able to offer the opportunity for people to get things they need printed off. Um, and we so we do have a wireless printing service where you can send documents from your desktop computer or your phone to our server. Then you can go ahead and you can come, you can over to our building, call in and say that you have something to, to print and we will print things off for you and bring them out to your car. If you are going to get print jobs through this way, we do ask that you bring either exact change or if it is a print job over $2 that you make sure that you have a card with you. You can only do exact change or card. So I do just want to run through how you would do this to how you would use this uh, service to print things without having to come into the building. This is a service that we also offer when we are open. So in the future, when we are able to open our building up again, you can still send things from your home desktop computer or your phone before you come in, and then you can come in and pick up your prints, prints that have been sent over here. So let's just go through very quickly and as simply as possible how you would go about doing that. So first what you're going to do is from the desktop computer, you're going to go to um, our website. So go to the internet however you normally would if you use Google Chrome or Firefox. Then just go up to the URL bar at the top and type in our website, which is going to be idapubliclibrary.org. Then just give that a second to load and you're going to find yourself on our website. So to find our wireless printing, you're going to just scroll down just underneath our banner here at the top. You're going to see these icons and you're going to go to wireless printing, the big round button right there. This is going to take you to the, the printing service. So you don't need to worry about anything up here. You just want to scroll to this first orange box and click on select file. This is going to bring up a new little uh, pop-up that's going to show you um, the organization of your different the organization of your different files. Just go ahead and navigate to what it is you need to print. And then select it. Now that will have it uploaded. Um, it does take just maybe a minute, that, but eventually there will be a little pop-up that says that it has been added to the queue, I believe. If not, it should still submit. So once you've selected your file, you can just go ahead and scroll down to this next orange box. Now the only thing that you need to put in here is this first box, the username slash card number. Now to make things easier, just go ahead and put in your first name. This is just so that when we look up your prints, your prints from our side, we can tell when you call in, you say, these are prints for Leah. We'll look at our list of print jobs ready to be printed and we'll find your name attached to the print job. Then once everything is all set, you'll go ahead and hit the submit button. At that point, your job has been sent to the printer. You can drive on over here and you can go ahead and tell it, call in, call in Tell us that you're here to prick up some prints and we will run that job and bring them out to your car. Now this system unfortunately only lets you attach one document at a time. So if you have multiple jobs that you would like to print off, you will need to do this for each single document that you want to print. So you will need to, once you hit submit, you'll need to go back to this page, click on select file again, select your next file, put in your name and then send it again. Fortunately, that is the only way that this system uh, will be able to bring in wireless printing. Now, I'm also going to very briefly go over how to do this with the phone so we can see how it looks on the mobile as well. So sending it from your phone is going to be very much the same as sending it from your desktop. Once again, you're just going to go to however you get to the internet. If you go through Google, Safari, or whatever you use, go ahead and look up Ida Public Library. Scroll down till you see the wireless printing button. And you'll come to the exact same page that you saw before. Uh, just, just re 
reconfigured so that it fits in a mobile screen. Once again, you're going to select on your fi select file, the orange button, and you'll get a little pop-up that says uh, browse, photo library, something like that. Um, your phone might be look a little different depending on the interface, but it should have some option to browse your files. Now you should be able to find where you've downloaded your file here. If you can't find it, it may be that you did not save it. So go back to where you need where the document you need is and make sure that you save it to your phone. Once you've added your file, once again, all you need to do is put in your name and hit submit. And then once again, all you need to do is come into the library, come to the library uh, in the parking lot. Go ahead, give us a call, tell us your name, and we will print off your job and bring it out to you. And that's all you need to know in order to do wireless printing from your phone or your desktop in order to pick up your prints while we are closed. If you have any further questions, always feel free to give us a call and contact us. We will do our best to help you during this time. Uh, Please check out our website for more details on our curbside, and we hope that this was helpful to you and that you will have a safe next couple of weeks. Have a good day, everyone.